Now, one doctrine here, uh, Lane, that gets spoken of, we can talk about anything you'd like to, of course. Oh, but one whatever. thing that's really uh, at the front of the value proposition for this course is something that Van Til called the representational principle. What did he mean by that? And, and you know, explain how you've, over the years, even come to see how, how much deeper this principle is in Van Til's system, even more so than he might let on to explicitly in his books. Yeah, that that's probably the the central integrative feature of Van Til's theology and apologetic. And just to build on what you were saying, why study Van Til? What is the cash value of of the course? Well, what you're dealing with in Van Til, in my estimate, is the most profound Trinitarian theologian and apologist in the Reformed tradition in the 20th century. Uh, the one who is integrating distinctive Reformed Trinitarianism, distinctive Reformed anthropology, a distinctive Reformed Christology, and a distinctively Reformed apologetical method. The representational principle, uh, it really is, I have to explain almost the whole course in order to explain it, so I'll just do a bird's eye view here. <laughs> but, but the re representational principle for Van Til is, is simply this, that Within the being of the one living and true God, there are three distinct persons who, A, subsist as the entire and undivided essence of God. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Spirit is God. B, they indwell one another in mutually um, interior and exhaustively personal relations of coherence. And that provides the distinctive Trinitarian archetype for a Reformed doctrine of the image of God and a Reformed doctrine of covenant. So to put it differently, Van Til is integrating classical Reformed Trinitarianism, classical Reformed federalism, and the term that he uses to distinguish and integrate them, he calls the representational principle. And the uh, one way to think of it is that if you know the Father, because the Father is in the Son, and the Son is in the Father, and the Spirit is in the Father and the Son, you know by implication all three. The one exhaustively and entirely represents the other as a distinct Trinitarian person who is God. Well, when God created Adam after his image, you have... A, an exhaustive uh, relationship of personal, you have a, a, I'll put it this way, a natural religious relation of personal fellowship between this triune God and Adam. And then Adam in covenant comes what? To represent all who would descend from him by ordinary generation. And so his representative function as image bearer under covenant is an analog to what Van Til talks about in terms of these subsistent, coherent, representative relations in the Trinity. And its development is just ingeniously reformed and advances what you find in the Hodges and Bavink and in back of them Calvin and the Reformed tradition. So it's it's really breathtaking to think through. And what we do in the course is try to do slow motion frames and work through it in a way that enables understanding and a grasp of it so it doesn't move by too quickly like it just did in my quick summary.